I'm not a seer, I'm not a prophet, a prophetess, but I believe the word of God. And I'd stake my very life on it. It's dark out there. The only restraining force that's left in the world today for good is the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the only restraining power there is. I don't want to be here one five minutes after that the Holy Spirit has been taken out. I tell you, my brethren, I wouldn't want to be here one five minutes after the Holy Ghost has been taken out. He is the only restraining force in this world today. All the forces of hell are loose. And think what it's going to be like when the Holy Spirit is taken out. When Jesus Christ came to this earth in the form of flesh, he staked everything. On this mighty third person of Trinity, I mean everything. Because he knew he would be as much man as though he were not God, he knew he would stand face to face with temptation. He knew the hour would come when he'd stand face to face with the evil one, the devil. And before he went away, the very last thing that he did, he made provision that you and I should not be defeated on a single score. If you're a part of this great body of believers, you do not have to go down in defeat for one split second. I do not have to go down in defeat for one split second. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ Jesus in this great auditorium. Greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Do you know of that wonderful fellowship of the Holy Spirit? Do you really know what it means? Oh, I know there's that great ecstasy of being filled with the Holy Spirit. I know we're in a great charismatic world convention here today. You'll have great moments of ecstasy. And there'll never be a greater experience of emotion in your life than when you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's marvelous. But my friend, do you know the experience of having yielded your will to the will of the Father? Not some of self and some of thee, but none of self and all of me. If Jesus could trust the Holy Spirit, and he did, Jesus staked everything that he had on the Holy Ghost. Remember that. Never forget it. The Son of the Living God staked absolutely everything, and I do not mean to be sacrilegious when I word it just as I have. I mean it just as I've said. When Jesus walked this earth, he was as much man as he were not God. That's the reason he could have yielded to temptation. If Jesus could not have yielded to those temptations, then those temptations would have been a farce. The secret of those miracles and the life and ministry of Jesus was the Holy Spirit. That same glorious resurrection power that walked 
into that tomb and raised Jesus from the dead.